Wotan's grave. A rotting god's corpse crawling with the restless dead. Ugh. And my disgust with this world is finally complete. Lovely. Well, it's not the nicest neighborhood, but the rents are reasonable. The nightlife is so dead, though. Come on, Abby. Don't do my jokes, but better. It's all I have. Too soon. So very long. Dawn and dusk both. Approach if you're ready. Whoever you are, show yourself. Who? Uh, Abby, did you hear something? You have much to see, Eventide. If you are ready. Ready for what? Aviana, are you well? Who are you speaking to, child? This feels wrong. The death here is wrong. Death should feel right. Come, gloaming child. Bring light to darkness and shadow to luminance. I can't be the only one who hears the voice. It's nearly deafening. Well, every beast and bastard for leagues knows we're here now. Sky madness. Drink water. This is not the place to show weakness, Aviana. The undead swarming the god's corpse will not coddle you. Look, if Avi says something is wrong, then something is wrong. Everyone stay quiet. I... I'm fine. Oh. To me, you seem wild-eyed and sweat-soaked. Maybe one of the healers could... Does anyone have a spell or potion or, or, or something that... We're moving on. Too much fighting and not enough drinking lately. I'm fine now, Ori. Promise. Abby, that's one of the elves that held us captive in the White Lands. That... that was a misunderstanding. Uh, but perhaps a fortunate one? L let me explain. First explain what you're doing with these penned-up undead elf. Your explanation had better be good, Jailer. Yeah. When I pass out and wake up in a cell, I like Ale to be involved first. We had no choice. We intercepted communication that our mana flows were going to be targeted. We suspected outsiders like you. Ridiculous. But after you escaped, we captured a messenger and interrogated him. Meaning you tortured him. Gift me this dog's blood. We found out it was the undead here in Wotan's grave who are targeting us. But we don't know what they're planning. This can still end well. You're obviously resourceful. If you helped us combat this plot, we could reach an agreement. To, uh, compensate you for the earlier misunderstanding. We'll help you stop the undead's attack, but it will cost you. Of course, of course. To discover what the undead are plotting, perhaps it would be best if you tried to get the information from them yourself? You are rather intimidating. Oh, you think that's bad? This is her when she's being nice. You're one to talk. All right, let's talk to the undead. Ah, so our tepid-blooded little host has pets, does she? Here to do elven bidding. Tell us what you're planning. There are innocent lives involved, not just combatants. Tickle us with your feeble tortures if you're going to, but spare me your prattle. The hum of your veins is already deafening. You can linger in that cage if you want, but you're wasting away. If you tell me what I need to know, I'll have the elves bring you some sheep's blood. No, not sheep. Give me elf blood. They can spare some, surely. No. Sheep's blood or thirst? I'll tell you. Just let me drink. My name is Pelma. I was part of a force sent to harvest mana from the corpse of the fallen god. There are caves beneath Wotan's grave. We were to extract and poison the mana. Poisoned mana? The suppliers, warlocks, they devised runes that could corrupt the mana. Once we mine the tunnels, we are to plant the runes in the elves' mana fountains above ground. The ones that feed their villages. All their villages. That would kill hundreds! Thousands! Children use those mana springs! 
Yes, they do. You fools! We need to block those tunnels. Then the tunnels will be your tomb. The leader of the group we apprehended, a vampire... To you, perhaps. The forests rose. It was my home. And as its druid, I was its ward. It's hard to imagine anyone living in this place. It's so desolate. The trees were thick, beautiful. They whispered together of ages past and drank from roots older than gods. Not fire. The forests almost seem destroyed intentionally. By war and failure. The world's war and my failure. Before meeting you, I gave my life to avenging it. Something's stalking us. Emder, you have aged. Melindra. At first, I didn't recognize you. You carry the smell of the blood of innocence. No one is innocent anymore. So, two things. First, you know this cat, and second, cats talk now? This is Emder. You would know her as a were-leopard. This is but one of her forms. And this is the Liberator that even the birds sing of? It seems all the other animals have left. The children. The children have gone. Some did. Some fled to die elsewhere. When their madness is spent, is it possible you still care for them? For the creatures and trees? You're not like any were-leopard I've met before. I am one of the mothers. The first of the forest beasts. The others are gone. I was the mistress of this forest. It was innocent. The trees and meadows knew no sin. Melendrach and I failed them. Your breathing is weak. You're wincing. Show us your wound. We may be able to heal it. The forest is my wound. These are its last days. And with it, I will die. No, we will go to the elves. They squander phoenix seeds on medicines for wounded soldiers. Then the soldiers go forth and create more wounds. By the seasons of my body, I beg you. The seeds were stolen from the forest's rose to supply warriors. We must find them. First croaking note of the crow's song. Voices. Mortis, then another. An angel profane? An angel profane. I've not heard of a crow's song. Long, long ago, there was a rite of death over which even Mortis had no control. My dread queen is powerful, but she is not all-knowing. Not yet all-powerful. There are undead like myself with free wills and minds. And others like me who would tear the dead and killing queen's throat out as soon as obey her. The crow's song is a mystery, from a time when Mortis was lesser. Clearly you two know each other. Indeed. He was the first I raised. The first soul I ever blessed with lingering. He seems broken. 
He's not making any sense. Agreed. He is a product of my early work. It's remarkable how far my art has come. Wait. Master Hubert? When you left the seminary, we thought maybe you had lost faith. I... I cursed you for leaving me when I needed you. A well-placed curse, Sebastian. But do not grieve. I learned much from his darkening. My master... reduced to this? May all the gods damn you twice, Ejimar! I'm certain they will. As I said in Ilian, it is here with my first Woken that the ritual of the Crow's Dance must begin. And it begins with a sacrifice. Arm yourself, old fiend. Keep a distance. Galleon greets you. in his light. I call on his holy fury.
my blade. I call on his holy fury. Others are always with us. Can you hear her calling to us? Face your death. The old ways must die. By the seasons of my body. Yes, yes, it continues. First, my dear sweet and gray leaf, and now here. This is the part where you tell me what this is. Crows, dances, and songs. It would almost sound nice if it didn't involve sacrifice. This is what everything is about. Power. My power returning and growing. The crow song is the ritual that wakes my formerly mortal children from their death. But the dance. Oh, what a dance. It is the reaping of the very power incubating within them. There are more, young fiend. Three others. We must find them, and we must reap. The dance has just begun. You ever tell a joke, then when you hear the person's terrible laugh, you resolve to never make them laugh again? Try to be understanding, Ori. Echimar's just a little... or a lot. He's just a lot. My sister Burkana is here. These elves bear her markings and her stink. The Liberator and the Vampire from Verandor. My sisters told me the tale. From the carnage of the demon attack on our nurses, you appeared. No need to thank us, soldier. But my friend here has business with your chieftain. You have my thanks for sparing my sisters, but... My orders are clear. Kill the second Woken. Every second Woken.
are always with us. Look, a Morok key. If the way to Burkana was blocked by a dwarven door, it won't be any longer. Let's hope this time goes better than the last time I needed one of those keys. My child, time to silence your song so that mine may ring out. Let the dance of the crow continue, old fiend. Advancing. Rally, troops! I will carve his sword on you. Just 
time. For the rain to go. to burn your remains. That's it, young fiend. You've more necromancer in you than you let on. Tell me about the crow song again. Did you forget? The song is the path of the necromancer. The first rituals, these first songs we sing, have a unique power. And the first we wake are like children. After I sang Hubert, my wife and I birthed others. Three very special little crowlings. Remind me about this dance. In every necromancer's first woken, a special bit of their power is stored. It festers there, rotting in reverse until it is ripe. The dance is what calls the right little things out. Death, in its most final, horrifying form, is the dance. You said there were three, which means that two more of your children are out there somewhere. Let's go find them. This is Elven territory, outsider. What are you doing here? We met a jailer named Altendian. We got the vampire to talk. We're on our way to reinforce your warriors before we strike against the undead.
Valiant Green. Serve me in time. Well, look at this old group of rabbling beasts. Not my proudest creations, but in them is the power to reap just the same. If that's the case, then reap away.
Shine a light. Feel his wrath. guides you to hell. Advancing. That's it, young fiend. I feel their power swelling inside me. They want to escape. They will not! You need to reassure me. These creatures are people you've murdered, then reanimated. You more than anyone know the shades of grey in this world. It's cruelty. It's darkness. By freeing them, we liberate them from it. I'm not sure I can stomach much more of this, says the daughter of Horus. You are the rightful heir to half the legions of the fourth heaven, Aviana. This should be fun. I still don't think I understand. This black essence rising from the second Woken? It is the power I seeded in them when I... And mine. I hope you're sated, because I want to leave. I will be soon, young fiend. But one more of my children remains. One more step in the dance.
Burkana is inside. They've cornered her. You said you were Viceroy to the Council of Six. Talk your way past them so we can use the Morak key we got from the Elven Guards. This close to my vengeance, there is little I can't do. The chieftain you've cornered here is of personal interest to the Council of Six. Viceroy Charlea, you're here serving the Dread Queen? With every breath we do not draw, we serve her. Well done. But now stand aside. I claim this one in the name of the Six and the One. The Morak key, Aviana. Use it to open the door. It's time to end this. We gave our word to the Viceroy. We will not step. Charlea! So it's true. How did you pass the door? Hello, sister. Are you pleased to see me? Your idiot son gave us the Morak key. Clearly, his greed is inherited. You're a dryad, but your family are elves. I am a shell of a woman. In my guilt, I tasted the mana flowing here. And I did again and again. It made me feel whole, but turned me into this. Charlea remembers you as an infant chieftain, but you have children. My sister's death was a long time ago. Long enough for me to erase her from the songs of our dynasty. Explain your presence in Wotan's grave. The body of the rotting god is turning into pure mana. She who controls the mana controls a great many things. I was tasked with harvesting from this mana vein as the elders searched out the source of all mana. This was my lot in life, until I heard Charlea had come to the grave. Stop playing with your food, Charlea. Either walk away or end this once and for all. Yes, I deserve it. I had you killed. Death was the least of it, you monster. Death was welcome. Do you know what your assassins did to me? They kept me alive for days, sister. Amusing themselves with my suffering. On my orders. I was so young, so jealous. You were wise, strong, commanding. While you lived, I would never truly be chieftain. I hated you so much. And I hated you enough to linger, to fester and become something powerful. Hedgemar found me, found the power and rage I had become. In all my long years, I've never met a lingering shade with more raw power, more pure rage. I betrayed you, and it haunts me. I never sleep, I never eat. My life is ashes and torment. Look at what my hate for myself has led me to. Look what I've become. I've been so certain that this day would bring me blood and vengeance, and now that we're here, I don't know what to do. Since I met you, I've wanted nothing more than for you to be happy. If there is any warmth left in that heart of yours, listen to it and act on it. You couldn't break the bond between us, sister, but I can. Let me show you. No! Stay back!
stalking my prey. I'm going to have fun. Your blood is my blood. Shame. 
I have so many arrows. For Mother Navendar. What? It's a trick I learned from Edgemar. Yeah, I... I've actually seen him do it. This, her beating heart, will forever bring me the power in death that she robbed from my life. By the seasons of your body, you are pledged to me. Smell delicious. Just a little. Moving. You're mine. The red later. Act now. Stand here. Father, guide my blade. Our mothers are always with us. Feel
feel the dread. You look succulent. You suddenly look delicious. Move out. You're done. I'm going to have fun with you. Dinner is served. <sighs> That's it. The old ways must die. Too close. I have my shot. Aviana of Ilion, we meet again. Yolamar, I should have known. If there's mana, you'd be close by. I'm flattered you remember, but you can't be here, Nephilim. You're too dangerous, and this mana too valuable. Guards! I will reduce you to pus and sinew, you, you sniveling insults to necrotomy. Ejimar, you're meant to be building the throne of Corsal. Everyone, stop! We know you're poisoning the mana spewing from Wotan, and we know you're going to use that poison to kill the elves. At the very least, I hope you tortured Pelma to get that little tidbit. Really made her squeal. She'll be fine. But you, on the other hand...
find a clear shot. a little bite. Yolamar? Everyone all right? It looks like everyone's fine, but that warlock got away. The main thing is we put a stop to their plans. The elves are safe, and they have us to thank for it. Imagine us arriving someplace and the people there thanking us. <laughs> That'd be a nice change of pace And What do we do with the runes they were using to poison the mana flows? Take them and pack them for Ilion. I don't intend to use them, but someone needs to keep them safe. Steal priceless artifacts? Ah, oh, sounds like a plan I can get behind. Then what? The elves are not guiltless, but I understand their actions. They are overrun and rendered paranoid by the deceit of these second Woken. They've needed an ally, and it would seem they've found one in us. Go to them and be celebrated. Well, then the plan is to go celebrate. Let's finish up here and go.
smell delicious. I'm going to have fun. Protector. Hi, Father. Shine a light. I will carve his sword on you.
must not break. I will carve his sword on you. Others are always with us. Stalking my prey. And down. <clears throat> Alien forever. Your blood taints easily. His holy eye closes. Me. 
are you bleeding? I will feast on this one. My father be with you. Shadows envelop me. <clears throat> Thank you. 
The tracks of the Phoenix Seeds thieves lead here. I smell medicines. They're close. Stop this, Druid. That medicine is all that stands between these elves and death. Then the elves die. They molest the seeds, the very wombs of the forest, into tinctures to use to save the warriors who would burn the forests down. But they're not going to give up the seeds without a fight. Nature is brutal and impassive. Some live, some die. We have the strength to influence which. Except we're not nature. We're people. We have responsibilities that animals don't have. Indeed. And we must harden ourselves, or the ravenous world will feed on our weakness. I agree with Melendrak. If there's a chance we can save his forest, we're taking it. As always, by the seasons of my body, I pledge myself to you. Now, let us fight.
There's so few. Will it be enough? It will have to be. just called her your love. Emder is... was my wife. The love of my long life. We had many cubs together. We were a family. That is over. Her soul's gone. She's traveling to the second heaven as we speak. The soul is nothing but dreams and wishes. Our body is what truly matters. Svegal Mortisan Freelan, Heargen born to the willow winds, a breath Nevendar Galtuned, below and above as one. The seed is planted, from her this forest will grow anew. Thank you. Children, hear my song! The crow's dance must go on! By all means, take the lead.
close. And now, for the crescendo, I must return to where my own song was first sung. What? I thought this would be over. And what about Shirleya? Isn't she one of your creations? Wouldn't you have to end her? I will admit to some slight curiosity on that front myself. No, Shirleya is a different song. She is special. My staff is fed and ready for the final step in our plan, young fiend. But surely by now you know nothing is ever final. I wasn't aware we were calling this a plan. The world of Nevendar is just life springing forth from the decay of what came before. As I must do. And as must you.
Oh, please, by the absent god, please help us! Altendrian was murdered by captives! The Jailer's dead? Calm down. Tell us what happened. The Vampire Pelma, the one leading the undead digging in the tunnels. She escaped and has gone on a rampage. She slaughtered dozens of my scouts. If you kept her starving in a cage, she's entitled to a few throats. She's amassed the undead and they've swarmed up to Godhead. They're going to tap into the mana of Wotan himself. So that's probably... bad? Bloodlust tapped directly into the veins of a god. Yeah, probably bad, Ori. Please. They will use that power to kill every living being if they're not stopped. More mana for the second Woken means less for us. We will go to Godhead and protect the Elves. Well, this is gruesome. Oh, it's strange, though. I feel like the air itself is charged with power. It is. You have come to me. Wotan? Uh, yes, Avi. The big dead god is still Wotan. You too have power, Gloaming Child. You too need power. Look around you. Lust and madness. Malice and want. And you between all. I can hear you, but you're supposed to be dead. Uh, Abby, things are about to get messy in here. We've got both elves and undead incoming. Is your power to shape the light and darkness around you? Or to pull both within yourself? What do we do, Avi? The undead and elves vie for the power my remains would grant them. And you stand between and above them. You've seen the faults of both. Addiction, bloodlust, cruelty. Perhaps their faults are your own. The races of this world have goodness in them, despite those faults. Such is your judgment of them? You are then fit to stand in judgment? Will you trust them with this power? Would you trust yourself with it? Perhaps no one should have it. You're right. No one deserves to have such power. Especially not the gods. Look at what Nevendar has become under you. Ah, oh, but is that an answer? Power calls. And rare indeed is one who will not answer that call. You must decide what to do with it. So you'd give this power to me? Even gods do not give power, gloaming child. In this world, at this moment, I simply cannot stop it from being taken any longer. What do we do, Avi? What indeed? None of you are worthy of this power, and none of you can bear this burden. Kill them! Kill them all!
Into battle. Quick, but What are you doing? Abby. Know me. Someone else is here. Whoa, hey, who the... You stay right there, me! Who are you? What do you want? You came to me, gloaming child. You and the other scavengers who picked at my corpse for whatever power you could glean. Wotan? Yes, or something very near to Wotan. Im impossible. The dead god. Explain this illusion. I was once the patron god of the dwarves. Perhaps this diminutive form is how your mind is capable of interpreting me. Now then. Wait. Did a god just insult me for being short? 
I don't understand. We were at your grave. The God Vein ruptured. If this isn't the Four Heavens... You are the gloaming child, Aviana. The twilight between light and dark. This is a place of neither. Then where is this? Do you not suspect? This is Erdva. The corporeal anchoring of the ethereal. Erdva, the madness between worlds. The elves say it is where the shades of the gods rest. The necromancers call it the Plain of Slights, realm of neither living nor dead. We saw your body. It was decaying. You're dead. I did wage war against the elven god Galleon and won. I tore his heart out and hurled it into the sun. I did fall to Salonial's rage. Mortis, the goddess that rose from that rage, did kill me. And all the dwarves of Nevendar out of revenge. But Nevendar is not the only plane. And Wotan is not the only Wotan. Alright, so some kind of god realm, or whatever, or... And hear me out, we're all dying of mana poisoning and having a deathbed vision. We wouldn't be having the same vision. Maybe I'm having the vision, and I just imagined you said that? Wait, maybe my whole life was a vision. Maybe you were never real. Maybe I'm not real. I'm spiraling. Avi, make this better. Talk to the godman with my face and fix this. Ardva is difficult for the mortal mind. This is the plane of slights where the corporeal forms of gods exist. I still don't understand how you can exist at all. Unless Mortis raises you, once you're dead, you're dead. Wotan is dead in Nevendar. Wotan is alive in Erdva. You are light and you are darkness. But you are still you. I am a dream, a memory, a premonition. But I am Wotan. Tell me more about this Plane of Slights. I don't even know what that means, Frank. Erdva, the Plane of Slights. A place where shadows of gods rest. Oh, the tatters of my memory of such a place. Corruption has seeped into this memory. The pollution of the rot and royal of Nevendar. Your memory of Erdva? You mean we're inside your memory? We're in your mind? No. And yes, you are beginning to know me. To know the Divine. There is no other way to explain it to a mortal mind. This is real, but it is also a memory. A memory that rots. But if this is a memory, does that mean I've already been here? Are you remembering me? Child, you've always been here, and you will never be here. Alright, can I just stop pretending that I understand and go straight to hating this? You said, know me. You're Wotan. I know that. What else am I supposed to know? We must know the corruption and creation that trails in our wake. In your world, I hammered the mountains and the valleys. I watched over the dwarves for a time. They led me to disagree with the gods Galleon and Salonio. I ripped the heart from Galleon's chest and threw it into the sun. <laughs> well earned. Salonial struck me down. Then to save her love's heart, she threw herself into the sun. She returned as the burned horror, Mortis. You should be thanked for giving us such a magnificent goddess. I murder and am murdered. I create and am recreated. The connections between gods, between mortals, between worlds, they corrupt, they grow. You are a nexus of connections, Gloaming Child. The potential corruption that follows in your wake. Know the gods and learn. Enough of this madness. I'm leading us out of here. The corruption seeping in from the rot of Nevendar eats at your return, even as it eats at my mind. Cleanse Erdva, and you may yet find a way. Good. So there is a way home from this place. A way to exist, gloaming child. Here, you are the half-born memory of a dream. But that is at least something. The price of failure in this universe is nothing.
Okay, so you're not actually the Jailer we met. What fever dream god are you, then? I am Ars, the Lord of Chains. Of course you are. I am the Binder and the Keeper. You are not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be chained in place. Speak of chains. Earn death. Yes, yes, we all think you're very brave. Please don't get us in a fight with gods. Binder and Keeper? Sounds like glorified servitude. Oh, it is. Gloriously so. In all the pantheons of all the gods, no one's ever written about you or spoken about you. No legends, no songs. You are of the tenth epoch of Nevendar, but there are many more eras and ages, rises and falls, than what those epochs would reveal to you. I am proof of that. If you're the God of Chains, are you the reason the gods are trapped here? Trapped? The Erdva, the Plane of Slights, is but one of an infinite number of realms in which we exist. The gods are not trapped. So you're the god of those held captive? Not just the Jailer, but the Jailed. Not just the Chain, but those in chains. I am the whip that cracks, and I am the skin beneath. The same could be said of you, Nephilim. We're leaving the Plane of Slights. of the White Lands. What are you doing here? I am become many things, but I was Galleon. Galleon, the god of the elves. Galleon, god of the elves, of the trees, of many things, and then nothing. Wotan ripped my heart out, but gods don't die. Right? I've noticed. The elves are split. Desperate. They need you. The schism, the epoch that fated the elves to divide, was inevitable. Nevendar is a land of divisions. It is cursed. I've only heard legends of how you created life on Nevendar. What actually happened? We were lovers. All of us. Bethrazen, Salonial, Wotan, and me. Bethrazen formed Nevendar, and it was the first schism. It tore us apart. Salonil and I clung together. Her tears were the rivers, my seed were the trees. Your world was the greatest creation in the universe, and it was doomed from the start. The scribes write the tale, your heart was torn out by Wotan and hurled into the sun. But why? My people say it was Wotan's jealousy, but it was not. It was fate. The schism was coming. Wotan's many divisions to many planes was coming. Salonial's death and rebirth was coming. The Fate Hand clasped us. We are gods, but against our fate we are nothing. We're finding a way back to Nevendar, Galleon. Come with us. Your people need you. She brought me back. But she was... And I was... I came back as Galleon the Twisted. Galleon the Divided. Galleon the Shifting. I cannot go back again. My lord, please. We need you whole and returned. We need you to make us whole again. Shift all you want, but return. Wipe the world clear of our enemies, and you will be renewed. No. No. I must not be bent to others, not again. Not a creature of your world, just a creature. Are you really? I am the High Father. The angels are my children. The Empire are my children. You are. But, uh, Father, you don't speak to mortals. You don't speak to anyone. Orion, hold your tongue. But you, you are unique amongst my children, aren't you? Unique is a good way to say it. I am the Nephilim, Aviana. I am the child of Haras, and your child, Inoel. You are all my children, Aviana. But my light throws shadow, 
and some of my children have slipped into that shadow. The people of Nevendar pray. For epochs they pray. Why don't you answer those prayers? Your world, child. I never wanted it. Nevendar was a mistake, an impetuous flourish from one of my wayward. It is true, I have often turned from your world. People love you. They dedicate their minds, they mar their bodies, they throw their life into praising you. Child, if I did not ask for them, do you think I asked for their adulation? I will not celebrate your victories just as I do not relish your defeats. Love is not indulgence. My mother was the angel Inuel. She was sent to Nevendar to destroy it, on your orders. At my displeasure, universes dissolve into entropy. At my whim, stars explode into being. The greatest gift I can give Nevendar is my indifference. Consider it a blessing. You act indifferent, but you're here and you're speaking to me. There must be a reason. Because you are something new. Something I will need to turn my attention to, for better or for worse. What does that mean? Something I'll do? Something I won't do? What do you mean? You have time yet before I turn my eyes to you. Be strong, child. That's two. Feels like we're getting close. Mortis, goddess of undeath. My queen! My everything! Your name. Who Wyjin, goddess of horrors that sleep beneath the waves. Maybe. I've heard of no such god. I thought Solonial was goddess to the Mer people. I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of winds and wastes. Maybe. You seem uncertain. I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of whores and bastards. Maybe. Kuai Jin. My name is Aviana. I am Kuai Jin, goddess of lies and truths, maybe. If you're playing some kind of game, Kuai Jin, I'm in no mood. I am Kuai Jin, goddess of murder and love, maybe. State your true name and do it now. I am Kuai Jin, goddess of dream and horror, maybe. You're many titled. I understand the burden. Lately they've been calling me Liberator. And Drunkard. Well, that one's at least deserved. Maybe even a bit of an understatement. I am Ku Jin, goddess of gibbets and nooses. Maybe. Right. I'm Aviana. And you? I am Ku Jin, goddess of lust and slaking. Maybe. I am leaving. I am Kuai Jin, goddess of beggars and fools. Maybe. We're doing it! There's a way out ahead! Knives, check. Body, check. Uh, boyish good looks. Check and mate. You look great, Ori. And me? Oh, you look great. You always look great. 
So what do you think that place was? Erdva? The Plain of Slights? The gods play games with those they fear. That little trip, whatever it was, only served to waste my time. But it won't stop me. There's the Abby I know and love, right back on her feet, ready to keep fighting. <laughs> I know we say this a lot these days, but this hasn't exactly gone to plan. No, but the elves and undead both just heard the message. Ilion is here, and has as much a right to Wotan's grave as anyone. And if Erdva was the afterlife, I'd say the gods heard it too. Slowly, die painfully. His holy eye closes. No need to thank you. soldier.
will prevail.